Welcome back, goddamn. Welcome back. Free Game Podcast. Free Game Podcast. 985. I ain't talking in the mic again. <laughs> Fuck. As usual, goddamn it. We back once again, man. With a special guest. Hey, um, hey, go follow our YouTube. Go follow our YouTube page. Go subscribe. We don't be saying that subscribe shit. Please like, subscribe to the YouTube page. Go follow man. us free on game, Facebook. Free Game Podcast 985. Go follow us on Instagram. It's Free Game Podcast 985. On Across the board. Across free the board. Game, free Game Podcast 985 on everything. Yeah. Goddamn. And we here with a special guest. Very special. Very, very special, man. Which happens to be my little sister. Yes, yeah. sir. We here with Lady by Liv. Hey y'all. Yes, sir. <laughs> Squint at the camera. <laughs> yeah, man. What's good, man? First and foremost, how you feeling? I'm feeling good. How y'all feeling? I'm feeling all right. That's Could good. be better. Alive and black. That's it. Yeah, That's it. Yeah. That's it. For those who don't know who you are, I mean, people probably have seen your uh, your commercial. You know that we be dropping in between the podcasts and stuff. But for those who don't know who you are, introduce yourself. Like you know. So y'all, I'm Leah. You might know me as Laid by Leah from Facebook or Instagram. I do hair in independence and y'all should book with me. Yes, sir. Please book. Go shop. Got down. All right. So uh how long did you know that you wanted to be a stylist? Since I was a little girl. Like you all like real little. Hair? So you, you know, been like, like doing hair. You know, like the um, the breast dolls with yeah. all the hair and stuff. Yeah, you used to yeah, fuck Yeah, since I up. was like that. Oh, <laughs> 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 but really, that's how I learned how to braid and stuff, though. Right. But I didn't really know I was gonna do hair though yeah. when I got older. So, at, like in high school, you you was like you didn't know then. Like, no. Yeah, yeah. I still was doing like my little cousin's hair and stuff, but I didn't have that mindset like I'm gonna graduate and do hair. Okay. I well, thought bye, I was going to be a nurse. Okay, so in 12th grade, you was thinking you were going to be a nurse? No. When I went into high school, I thought that 12th grade, I was just confused. I didn't know what I wanted to be. Right, right. I feel it. I feel it. Yeah. Yeah, that is fire. That so, is fire. Um, what made you go to hair school instead of a traditional four-year college or for anything else? Well, me personally, I know me and I hate school. Like, I don't like to go to school. School was never for me. I don't like getting up early. I just hate the fact that it just takes so long. I just right. knew I couldn't do four more years. I thought I'd been to school 12 years already. Yeah. It's just not for me. That makes sense, too, because a regular nine to five, that's like the same hours of school. Exactly. Yeah. You know, like you really set your own hours with what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. But um, honestly, I didn't even know I was going to Compass. Like my, um, what you call them, my counselor, she asked me like, a month before school like Lil what you gonna do cause right. you know I was on like core 4 if y'all know what that is it's like the track to college you be on core 4 mm -hmm. all 4 years in high school right? which I, I was like <clears throat> I made good grades I was like top 4 well top 10 but I was number 4 in my class so right. they was thinking like you gonna go to college but I knew for a fact that I wasn't Right. so like the day before I told her like just go ahead and put compass I'm just just put whatever like, just go ahead and put compass Right. but I actually went with it and actually went to campus and graduated. Right, so it wasn't even a plan. Like you no. were just told to do anything. Yeah. So so they could have something to say when I walk out. Like right, right, you right. Know, but yeah. I didn't think that I was yeah. gonna really go to campus either. I just didn't know. Shout out to campus. Can you describe what that was like? <laughs> <laughs> man. <laughs> what that was like? Campus was hard, man. Campus was very. I would. I don't even know how to describe them. Like strict, but like. Stricter than high school, stricter than any other school that you'll go to. Right. It's like a, <clears throat> a unrealistic strict. You know, like you can't come to school a minute late. You can't. God it matter like if your family member, seventeen family member, you can't leave. Everything kind of gets you. Mm -hmm. You know. And it's a lot that come with compass. Talk about that time you almost timed out, or did you time out? That I time? actually did time out. Right. You know, I got to school. Once once nine oh five hit, you can't come in after nine oh five. So I got to school at 9.05 At the door at 9.05 I'm looking at my clock It's say 9.05 They telling me that It's 9.06 on their clock mm -hmm. So they telling me I couldn't come in But If my if my time telling me 9.05 I got seconds to get to the time clock And clock in But they told mm -hmm. me I couldn't right. Mind y'all I was in nail class And in nail class You could only miss One full day 
So during that time, I had braces and stuff. So, you know, I had like appointments to go to. So mm -hmm. I missed my first day, like the first day of class. Or at the second day, I had missed like my first full day. So I had no mm -hmm. more full days to miss. Right. Mm -hmm. But I got all the way up until my last day and got that 906, my last day in nail class. And it comes like once you time out, you have to redo the whole nail class when it come back around. Right. And mind you, you on like a day to day graduation date. Like if you start this day, you gonna finish this day. But every day you miss, you get pushed a day back. So that's like two weeks I like push back off of one day I missed. One day. Off of one minute. Off of one minute. One minute late. I had my portfolio on my hand, everything. So well, we ain't gonna get into details about how I didn't go back to nail class because I didn't go back to nail class. I was just about to ask. I was like, "Do you know how to do nails?" Nah. Would you want to like go and you like? Ah. Nah. Yeah. You good where you at? Yeah. You straight. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, is there anything else that you just like with being an entrepreneur? Is there anything else like you can just think off the top of your mind you would like to see yourself dipping your hands in? Um. Right now, you just like just. I mean, my clothing, my clothing line, yeah. living. Yeah. I, you know, want to push that, but other than hair, I mean, I just like doing hair. Yeah. Right, right. This is just right. something that I like. I right. might get into like the eyebrows, like waxing and stuff, and right. microblading and stuff like that. But other than that, yeah, I can't see. I want. I don't want to do nails. I don't want to do lashes, <clears throat> feet. None of that. I don't want to do none of that. Right, right, right. right. So. Like I know, like, your journey to doing this, it ain't like you just got out of hair school and just went straight into getting your own shop. And I didn't. Yeah. Talk about mm -hmm. that. Like, what it was like when you first got out of hair school. Well, I'm going to say prior to hair school, I was working with a lady named Miss Keisha. Shout out, shout out, Keisha. out to Miss Keisha. Shout out, she, shout she out. She did give out. me that opportunity, I must say. Big shout out. Yeah. I was in high school, and she, you know, just let me come in and get the feeling of it. Because, you know, once I told her that I wanted to do it, which she was my, my style, since like mm -hmm. a little bitty girl. Right. So she gave me that opportunity to come in and, you know, see what it's like to do hair and stuff like that. Right. So she kind of like pushed me to go to, you know, hair school and stuff. So I went to hair school, and my mindset was... I'm doing this, but I'm thinking, like, it's got women who've been doing hair for 15 years, you know. Who will let me get in their head? Right. So, I ain't gonna lie. I counted myself out numerous times, mm -hmm. thinking that nobody will come to me. I'm like, bro, I'm, what, 18? Who gonna come to me? Yeah. But once I um, was going to Compass, you know, I was gaining clients from going to Compass, mm -hmm. you know. Like, my teacher always said me, like, she felt like I just always knew. Like, I just knew. Like, when it came to washing hair and Flat iron the hair. She just felt like I knew already. Mm -hmm. So I just kept pushing, and then I started doing hair at home and all of that. That that was going good, you know. I just kept promoting myself, posting my pictures or whatever. Mm -hmm. Whoever like it, they'll come get their hair done and stuff. Right. And I went from there to to a barbershop. I ain't gonna say what barbershop. Right, 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 right. But I did start working in a barbershop, and I lost all my clientele. Just being completely <laughs> honest, working in a barbershop. Damn. I lost all my clientele. You didn't think they like coming to that environment or something? Well, yeah, that's what they told me after the fact. Okay. You know, after I'd been there a couple of months, they told me, oh, I stopped coming because I didn't like being around all the men, which that's understandable. Right, 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 right. right. If they would have told me sooner, I would have been a little sooner. Right. right. But you live and learn. And then I left there, I went back home, and they came back. Right. You know? Yeah, yeah. So, um, what was it actually like rebuilding your clientele? Like, I was scared at first. I was thinking, like, man, if everybody just left like that, they probably ain't gonna come back. Like, it's over with for me. Right. right. But like I said, I always just posted pictures of what I do, and I started doing stuff for free. Like, you know, I put like stuff on my page. Like, if you want this style, you gotta come get it. Just bring the hair. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do your hair for you. Right. Stuff like that, just to get my name out there and to get myself out there. I just do stuff like that. So. I, I really can't tell nobody how I got my clientele. People ask me that all the time, but I feel like God, this is just something that God had for me. Right, right. Because right. it, it really just came in me to, for for me. I feel like it came in me all at once. Something that I really just can't explain. Right. To this day. Right. You hey. know, because I wasn't. I can't say I was a known person before I started doing hair. Right. I can't yeah, say that. Yeah, you was very quiet. Yeah. Nobody really knew me like that. Under unless the radar. you went to school with me or stuff yeah. like this. So. I guess. I guess. God just saw your grind and wanted to bless it. Yeah, you, know you can't saying? explain it's, it's, it. Yeah, it's just a blessing, like something so, that wasn't in your control. How does it feel waking up every day as a black entrepreneur? Man, it feel great. 
I'm gonna be yeah. honest with you. Yeah. It feel it feel real good. Sometimes I be you know how like I try not to get used to it. If you see what I'm saying. What you mean? Like I, I don't want it to be like. How can I say it? <clears throat> I don't want it to be like I'm just so used to it. Like yeah, you just I just get up be my own boss. I I want to always feel like it's a blessing and I just want to be grateful for it. Like I don't want right. to get too comfortable with it. Like yeah, I'm my own boss. I get up every day and gotta clock in nowhere. Right. So I still treat like what I do as a job. You mm-hmm. know, I make sure I get up. I don't block my schedule out because I don't feel like working. I make sure I go even if I don't feel like going. I still go. Right. Really so did. I don't really take too much advantage of it. Like oh, I could just not go if I want to. Right. I still get up and go. That's kind of what um. Nine had said Because he was like If it's a day He feel like I'm going to stay home And not do nothing He just he It make him feel bad He it feel do. bad Like you feel like Man like, I, I ain't going to be productive Like, like right. you know what I'm saying Yeah, yeah. But hey I salute it bro To the highest level Because shit That's what we chasing Like we right. deal. We talk about it Every day it. Like you know what I'm saying To this day Like we talk about that Every, every day. day We stress about it We, we, we like, argue right about it Fight so about it like, Go and you know get some money From a job That ain't nothing Like nigga been doing that For years You know I go get some money But Waking up every day Doing what you do Like what you enjoy doing And getting paid to do that shit, shit Man that's true. different yeah. Like I can't wait till I experience that shit full time. It's a good feeling though, like I say. But just my only advice is to treat it as a job. Right. Like don't don't yeah. don't look at it you as the same. This I'm one. my own boss and like I could get up and do it when I want to. Like treat it as a real job. Right. Real Something deal. Something you got to do. Real deal. Hey, with your clothing brand, what does the name stand for? Living. Yeah. Just living, like you know, living. That's yeah. basically <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. Like yeah. when say. you. I look at it as at one point in my life when I came up with living, I really was doing that. Like I was going on trips, I was always doing stuff, right, you know. Right. So I was really just living, like living my right. life and having fun. So that's like the main thing behind it. It's just living. Okay, for sure. I, I always wanted yeah. to know that. Like, yeah. yeah. Real deal, man. Shout out to Living. Yeah, shout out. And she dropped go, a song. Go follow that we on both Instagram. Drop a song. Go follow that. Go follow that. Bless <clears throat> clothing. All that. For sure. I ain't got no service. Oh shit. Y'all need uh, some Wi-Fi? <laughs> huh? Y'all need some Wi-Fi? Uh, game right. probably do. But look, you could pick up. Alright. Alright, I bet. Uh, how is it dealing with rude clients? Or just different clients. Just period. Kids. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just... But, it, like, the, the rude clients... I must Especially. say, all the years I've been doing hair, I probably came in contact with like two rude clients. Yeah. Do you still do their hair to this day? Um, no. Okay. But I didn't have to like tell them not to come back. They just never came back. Right. You know. And yeah, I don't really deal with rude clients though. I don't have I don't have that problem. Like yeah. most of my clients, they like laid back, real laid back. Yeah. Real Chill. Deal. I guess they see the energy you got because I, I i've been big on energy lately so yeah, i guess I'm real big on energy. yeah like so they, it's like they give the energy you give out i guess that you know it, it attracts the, you. yeah right right you yeah. think you dealt with the rude clients early on like before you got your shop and stuff i dealt with yeah i, I was in the other shop when i dealt okay. with the rude yeah, clients yeah, yeah. which that wasn't like too long ago yeah real deal so uh you know with being an entrepreneur Everything is not gonna be the same every week. You right. So how is it? How like what motivates you to keep going when you got like slow weeks? Cause I know at one point it's gonna pick back up. Right. And it's gonna get there again. I be you know I deal with slow weeks more than you think you know. But yeah. I don't look at it as oh I'm slow this week. I just go and do if it's one person today that's cool with me. You right, know right, I just right. go do my one person you and know I'm it's good. Not gonna be all right. It's not gonna be like that. That's just what comes with it. Like some days you gonna be up. Well, when, when some weeks you gonna be up. Some weeks you not. Yeah. But my whole thing is you. I just keep going. Right. Yeah. Because the I look at it like the cycle of life gonna keep going. People yeah. gonna wanna get they hair done for this party, yep. Christmas, these stuff. So it's like. I don't know. I guess it's then like have, it's almost like taking advantage of them slow weeks, just like taking advantage of the busy weeks. Exactly. Week. It's just down. like it, it really. I look at it as a time just to relax, though. I don't right. even look mm-hmm. at it as oh, I'm slow. I'm mad about it. I look at it as this is my time to just relax and get myself back right. Right. Because when everybody I'm, need it. Yeah. Because when you having those like busy, busy weeks, you you need them slow weeks yeah, yeah, to just right. you know get back right. Right. So, right. Yeah. I don't look at it as negative. Right. Not trying to shoot too too far, but you know what I'm saying, but. 
what are some of your goals with this? Like, like you just like, like, like you want a franchise, different states, all that type I do. of shit. I do. One of my main things in the next couple of years is to be a traveling hairstylist. Yeah. Because, you know, I feel like I'm able to do that, to just get up and go. Right. Mm -hmm. So I do want to go to different states and just do hair and get myself, you know, known in different places first. Right. And just see, like, what I like best. And just, I probably will move wherever I like best. Yeah. But still have other places that I go. But I, I don't know. I just want to travel. I like, I like yeah. traveling, so. If man. I could travel and make money, that's perfect. Man. Oh, man. man. Do that shit to fullest, bro. Yeah. Just go with your move. Because it's bro. like, I ain't going to lie. In some of them other states, cities and states, like, the rates that you probably getting paid down here, and it'd be like double, triple that in like bigger it. cities and stuff. I see it. And I know, like, you'd be looking at their work, like, I know I can get paid more than that. Cause, right. You know. Especially, like, in Texas. Like, Texas is, like, a place I feel like I can go and make good money. Because it ain't a lot of people that do hair for real in Texas, if you ask me. Yeah. But in Atlanta, Atlanta's saturated, but I still feel like I can go out there and make some money, too. Yeah. Right. And Florida. Yeah. You know, because I, I do I do locks. I do dreads and like So, Florida, like, one of the main places that I want to go oh, yeah. to yeah, get right, myself right, yeah. Right, right. yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, you ever did wigs? Never did wigs. You think you, like. I want to learn how to do wigs. Yeah. Yeah. That's popular right now. I about to say the same thing. That's popular. That's something people want. So. Yeah, I'm be super. I'll think about give me some. I don't know though. <laughs> we gonna move on though. Chill out. <laughs> but uh, nah, you good, bro. Uh, all right. You in a hectic? Like it's 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 a it's a fierce lane you in with hairdressers. Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. You ever feel like? Kind of competitive on some shit, like in a way. No. Or you just stay in your lane and I just be in my it. own world, man. I really mm. do. Like, yeah. I barely be on social media, which is becoming a problem for me because I'm not promoting like I used to. Mm -hmm. Right. But I also have my clients that you know book automatically, like my what well, how I say it, my regulars. Right. Yeah. So it don't really like I need to promote because like, that's just good to do. Like you need to promote, you should promote. Mm -hmm. But I don't see myself in competition with nobody. Especially like where I'm at, it's like I don't have to deal with all of that. Right, right, know? right. By myself, really, so. Right. right. Yeah. That's the best part. Sitting on top of the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> for real, for real. Yeah. I fuck with that, though. So I asked this uh, in the last the last one we had with, uh, with Nine, Johnny or whatever. Yo, business versus friendships and family. How do oh, you keep, man. you know, a wedge in between the two? If I want to be, if I'm being completely honest, I don't really have friends. Okay. Um, I have family though, like which is my mom and my brothers, my nephews. It's close people to me, right. so that's automatic. Like we mm -hmm. go to have, you know, we go spend that time with each other automatic. But right. other than that, I don't really have. It don't. It don't really, you know, bump heads because I feel like everybody who know me know that I'm a working person. I go to work all the time. I'm mm -hmm. gonna go to work. Right. But when it's time for me to show up, like for my nephew games, I'm going to make sure I go. You know, mm -hmm. I'm going to be there to support stuff, but I'm going to make sure I go back to work after. Right, right. Real deal. Do, like, certain people that you grew up with, do they ask for certain discounts and stuff? No, because they don't come to me. Okay. Honestly. Yeah. Well, that's real. I mean, I got, I got some family that come to me, but they don't look for discounts. Right. They going to pay that price. Yeah. That's real. Keep doing it. So, um... I'm trying to see. Um, you ain't got to get in detail. Really no details. It's just like a simple question. But you being a woman, black entrepreneur, everything you is. Most of the time when I see it on TV, like, you know, like when you see on TV shows, women that be like, they be on their shit to a level. Like I say, you ain't got to get in your business, though. But do it, do it kind of affect your love life in a way? You kind of like look at like... Mm -hmm. No, you know, in a I can't way. say that because I have been talking to somebody for like a couple years. So and yeah. yeah. We good. Like I don't okay. have, I don't deal with he that. He understand. Yeah, he understand. He yeah, get it. So, okay. Yeah. Real deal. We like on the same, you know. But y'all know how I'm saying how it be seen in the movies. It be like it women be, that it, be super successful. Like super it be independent like, women. Now yeah. I'm going to be honest. Like before I started talking to him, it was scary though. Yeah. Because I didn't know... Like, say if people want to talk to me, they'll bring up my car. Right. They'll bring up what I do. 
Right. Or they'll ask me. what you me, have type stuff. Yeah. But like the dudes that try to talk to me at that point, they'll be like, oh, well, can I get my hair done for free? Can I get a discount? Yeah. Like, that was kind of weird. Right, I ain't really right, like right, that because I'm right. like, are you talking to me to get your hair done for free? Right. Or are you talking to me because of what kind of car I got or what I got going on? Right. So, that was kind of scary. But. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's basically what I was getting at. Yeah. So, like, most of your clients are men. It, how do yeah. you, how do you, like, how do you tell them? Because I know some of them probably try to flirt, try to talk mm-hmm. to them. How do you tell them in a, in a nice way, like, keep it respectful, like, this is just a business. I'm not. Well, I feel like the vibe that I give off, most of them don't try me. But the ones that have tried me, I kind of like tell them, like, right then, I'm not on it. You right, know? right. I'm just right. your hair. I'm not with none of that. Right, yeah. right. And I leave it at that. But if it go further, then, you know. Yeah. It'll get handled. But I don't. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of my, a lot of men just, me, it's just men being men, though. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Right. So they, they gonna try to talk to you. They gonna try to flirt with you. But you gotta just be a strong person and just let them know. And just be up and forward, like up forward with people. Just tell them, like, I'm not with it. Real deal. And that's what I do. I let them know. Right. From get go. Real deal. You ever, um, don't be having like seminars? Oh, am I saying that right? Like, yeah. you know, like them big hair things that the they have with like, like stuff. hair show. You ever, you ever went to one of them? I went to a hair show when I was little, but I was in the hair show. I didn't go. Oh. But I, I want to go to a hair show. Yeah. Like, why you want to host your own? I mean, that's a good question. Yeah. I can. You know, instead of going support theirs, hey, yeah, be I feel like, you know, you a likable person. I don't think you got no beef with no stylist or nothing. No, they, no. They no should, stylist. you know, pull up, get together. Yeah. That's that's a good idea. I'm going to have to reach out to some people. Oh, yeah. yeah Set that up. Fire. Set that I mean, up. I ain't sure. shit like that, like, going on around here, like, no. you know what I'm saying? So. That would. It's a really good idea. Put it in my nose. For sure. Okay. Not getting too in your pockets or in your business, but like, what's the most you'd ever cleared in a week? If you could disclose that, if you feel comfortable putting that number out there. I ain't going. <laughs> you ain't even gonna put it out there. No. <laughs> but it was, you know. It but was, it's good. I, I must say that. I, I I got real good weeks. I, I yeah. done made good money in it. Yeah. You know. I feel you. Like I said, it's all about discipline, though. Like, you got to make sure you go get it. Like, you have to stay consistent with it. Right. Because at the end of the day, so. you don't have nobody that's going to fire you. None of that. Mm-mm. So, it's all strictly based off you. Off me? Yeah. Right. And your grind. That's real. So, with the success that you have now, you think you'll hire anybody? You think you'll bring somebody in? Um, in this shop that I'm in right now, I wouldn't bring anybody in, but in the future, yeah, I do want to like branch off, chain off, yeah, grow. I do yeah. want to have people like working, you know, and stuff like that. But right now, I'm good by myself, I love it by myself. I ain't mad at that, yeah, it's yeah. peaceful. I don't got to worry about you know, nothing, right? 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 I like it. You ain't got to worry about motherfucker being lazy, being late, doing all yeah. this. But the energy that you built in here, you just scribe off that energy. Right. And, and a lot know. of my a lot of my clients, you know, they confided in me with a lot of stuff. You know, they talk mm-hmm. to me, you know, in hairstylists, if you do hair, you know like yeah. you are barbers too. You a counselor, yeah, a barber too. Like you almost like a counselor, therapist right. for some people. Most people like just confide in you. So if me, I'm in here with my clients and I got a girl over here working and this girl vent to me about what she got going on with yeah. her boyfriend or something. She probably right. listening to everything this girl telling me. Right. And I ain't going to be the one to put it out there, but she might go and run her mouth. Right. She might know That's the facts. baby daddy or something like that. Right, so right, right. That's facts. I like, I like for my clients to be real comfortable. Like, you yeah. know, right. It's a safe that, space. Yeah. That's real. That's fire. Man, I ain't going to lie. Nigga proud of you, bro. Thank you. Like, I appreciate you know very, it. Very, very, very proud right, of you. Because... But I've been in y'all life for 11 years, and for 11 years, you know, this is, you know, right. you've seen you just see from a little right. girl. Yeah, I've seen all so, that shit. Like, yeah, you know, that shit real fire, deal. bro. Hey, you know, I tell you all the time how proud I am. Yeah, I appreciate you know, y'all. You still inspiring me, and I'm I'm the oldest brother. Yeah, that's shit. what I say. Like like I say, man, we, we scratch about being entrepreneurs every day. And that's all we talk about. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Getting this Never shit popping. Late, Getting this shit popping. Oh, it's going to. It's coming. You know? It's coming. It's coming for and, sure. And um, yeah, man. People, you know, people be telling us how much they believe in this. My brother sent me a long ass text message about like how this shit gonna do this, how this shit gonna blow. But you know, it's cool hearing it from people. But you know, 
Whatever, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Gotta see the shit. Right, yeah. Right. But that that come from us. We just gotta stay consistent because like I say, whenever Leah graduated from hair school, her success didn't happen overnight. Like it's been years. Right. Like right. to get to where she is right now, it took time. Yeah. You know, and I know for sure. And patience. For sure. Yeah. Like so and you got to believe in it. That's the main thing. Yeah, real deal. You got to believe in it. You know, right. everybody can believe in it for you, but if you believe in it, that's what make all the difference. And it shows. Right. It, it damn sure show like, if you out here, like, if you have doing people hair. People ain't going to come back. And that's going to show, gonna like, you it. don't really want to do you it. You're going to hear about <laughs> it. Yeah, right. Yeah, so no. by you keeping that same grind, like, you know, you still perfecting I your craft. I keep that same energy with everybody. Because I yeah. hear a lot of girls say, oh, she do. Like, they'll say about certain people. Like, oh, they, they do whoever hair they they want to do right. right. Or she do some right. people hair this way. But when you yeah, come to meet no all my too. clients, no, y'all all getting that same treatment. Like, y'all exactly. all get that same full potential when I'm doing your hair. I'm not going right. to have do your hair. Real no matter deal. who you is. Real deal. You like doing dreads or weave more? I like doing dreads more. It's just something mm. about doing dreads. Just to see how they come in and then right, see the right. after, like the outcome. Yeah, I right. love doing dreads. Right. Right. I'm I'm getting into the, the wigs and stuff, though. You know, yeah. I'm just not getting into it. Shout right. out to Char Charquissia Char because she did right. teach me shout how to do out. it. Yeah, shout out. Shout out. Yeah, we need to get them on She's very detailed. Yeah. So Definitely yeah. If y'all want to take a wig class, go take a wig class with her. Shout out. See, that's even dope. You even, you know, this about you and you still shouting out other stylists. That's oh, yeah. just showing how Shout humble you is and, yeah, you know, bro. that's, that's good energy. Yeah, that's love. Good energy for sure. So, any tips that you would give, like, you know, some upcoming stylists? Um, the biggest thing I tell y'all is don't gossip. Right. It's something I never did because I, I learned from experience. Seeing that other people like mm -hmm. just stay like stay strictly about your business. Right. Like if your client you want to confide in you and tell you stuff, you can listen, but don't like don't gossip about nobody. Um, promote, keep her like promote, like post your pictures, post your business. Always do that, um, and just don't give up. Like just know that you ain't gonna start out perfect. Like right. it ain't gonna be perfect when you first start out. You gotta Real just deal. keep doing it. I got pictures of me doing my little little cousin's hair. Braids don't look worth nothing, but <laughs> hey, <laughs> I had to keep trying, you right, know. Well, right now, with them braids so look like stop. today. Oh, right. we we good today. Yeah. Talk about it. <laughs> yeah, Talk yeah. about it. That's fire, bro. Really have emotion out here. Yeah, because yeah, we was um we was talking to Kendra, you know, because she was thinking about. I think it was nails. I don't know. It was something like that. Now, I think we were both. Mm -hmm. And I was telling them, I was like, man, you go get your hair done by Leah, man. Talk to her Good, about it. Like, open your mouth. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. She you got a plug. It's talking. a plug right yeah, there. Yeah. Like, she, you know well, she, Kendra's starting to open up more. Yeah. Even though I've been doing Kendra hair for years. Like, Shout when out she Kendra. come down, For those she, who don't know who Kendra is, that's gang, gang daughter. Yeah. yeah. Shout she, out. She opening up more when she come down. Yeah, I told her. Like, yeah, talk. Ask her questions. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? She she gonna tell you. I'm probably gonna do like something with the, the younger people one day. All right. Just, that'll be dope. Yeah. yeah, that'll be so fire. That'll yeah, be bro. dope. The Real ones dope. who are willing to, you know, come right, in yeah. and listen and Oh, yeah, you'll know. Once right. you start doing it, you do it the first time, the second time, you'll know the people who right. really, you know, really trying to do it, so. For sure. Yeah, man. But, um... You ever um, thought about setting up your account thing for like paid promotion on the internet for yeah. the days that you feel like you don't feel like doing it? You know, it, it'll run it, you know, yeah. for you. you know? I have, I, I thought about it. Yeah. So that's something that I'm probably going to end up doing soon. Yeah. But I got, like I said, I need to get more consistent with posting my stuff because yeah, I'm slacking. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Cause yeah. the, you know, when you, when you slacking with that paid promotion, they'll do it for you. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? So, so yeah, you know. that's something I'm looking to. I got to yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And you know, while we on here, the living slash blessings clothing pop up shop coming soon. Yes, real sir. soon. Real soon. Real soon. You know, the new drop coming on both sides and got some dope shit coming. And it's while gonna I'm be way it, better this year. I'm sorry. I'm gonna oh yeah, out. yeah, yeah. And we're gonna hold it out here in Independence right by the shop. Yes, right sir. by the shop and the daycare. Shout out to moms, you know, amazing, amazing kids. Amazing kids. Come sign y'all kids up. Brand they gonna have the time of their life. Brand new kids. For sure. And uh, I'm gonna give a shout out, you know. Shout out to Mike DaVinci. Shout out, you Mike. Know, that's the hat. Then I got on the version two. The version two shorts. I'm gonna have to cut that so y'all can really see the shorts. I'm gonna show y'all the shorts. Shout out to today with the version two shorts. And shout out, Sayel. 
Cartel and Cartel Co. clothing. Yeah, man, we be 985, man. Hey, yeah. when y'all see us wearing y'all clothes, man, share that shit, man. Like, or that's y'all like. Niggas <laughs> or not. Man, share that shit, man. That <laughs> you shit should goes share it. You should share it, but, you know, it is what it is. Shout me? out, yeah. Laid by Lil, for sure. Shout out to that. You Big feel me? Out. Knock and let me in, man. <laughs> Damn, man. That's all a nigga be asking for. Put this shit on, share that shit, man. <laughs> Anything else you want to leave the people with? Uh, I went, mm-hmm. Anything good y'all want to <laughs> ask? No book. No oh, book. yeah, definitely, Go y'all. Follow, fact, follow on Instagram. I'm going to put the, uh, the QR code right here. I'm going to put the QR code so you could just scan it. Matter of fact, I might not put it right here. I'm going to put it at the end so it yeah. got a black background. So yeah. you could just scan the code. Scan the code because a lot of people don't want to type the link in, nothing like that. Just right. use your phone. Which uh, And if, if not, the link is always on my page. Yeah. And on the pin post, it's always on the top of my page, and it's in my bio. You gotta tell them where to find your page. Oh, it's Leah Alexander, L E A H. It's two H's or one H. It's one H on Facebook. Okay, Alexander, Leah Alexander on Facebook. So uh, yeah, before we go, it's two ways to spell your name. I came up with the other name to spell my name. Which one? The other one? That one? That's the real way right here. Okay. Yeah. Right. Everybody who really that's that's my that's how you really spell it. But okay. I've been using the L E A H for so long that even my closest people be saying L E A H. I know. I, I, that's what I thought it was. That's yeah. why when I, I like actually the way you saw spell. that one, I was like, because like okay. if you if you tell Siri to call this number, Siri gonna say liar. Mm. Like mm. all my life, all She's my teachers call Leah. me a liar or a yeah. layer, which I don't understand the layer, but. Yeah. They never called me Aaliyah. But I guess the L E A H can like you will know yeah, that's yeah, Leah. Right, right, okay. Right, right. All right. For sure. So you, you just dumbed it down a little bit for people. Yeah, like Leah. Right. Leah. Yeah, that's it. You would think that's really what that say. But yeah. whatever. But I can understand the liar. You know, lie. Yeah. L-I. I can understand it, but it's Leah. Yeah. You're stupid. Shout yeah, out to <laughs> But um, you know. with all that being said, man, keep grinding. I wish you number success on every level. Continue to success. Yes, sir. Continue because you already having it. Having yeah. motion. Pop your shit. You can pop your shit right pop quick. Pop your shit, twin. <laughs> <laughs> pop your shit, twin. Y'all know me. I'm real laid back, though. Yeah. Cool hey, continue to do that. Continue being humble. Continue sure. that. But uh, I don't think I got nothing else. You shout out your social media out? Oh Everyone? well, on um, Instagram, my main page is Leah with five H's, and then my hair page is Laid by Leah. And y'all follow me on TikTok at Laid by Leah. I'm gonna start posting on there more. Yeah. And follow the clothing, Living Apparel. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, you got something again? Nah, I ain't got nothing, bro. Oh shit. Well, with all that being said, this is, was, and always will be the Free Game Podcast. Make sure y'all add that dollar sign. Always. Yes, sir.